All right, so it looks like we have defeated Mortigan now. Whoopsie. Uh, I guess he is, he's finally dead for good. Tell me the king needs to speak to you. Still don't know who the, oops. I still don't know who the black tackle is. truth now. Hard as it was to swallow. The things I did while under the monster's spell are almost too terrible to contemplate. If not for you, this kingdom, no, this entire world would have been turned to ashes. All would have been lost to Mordigan. A true hero stands among us Adria is eternally in your debt it's kind of funny we've heard you similar things this whole game to the legendary Erdwin. truly you are the luminary our light and our hope <laughs> you really did it huh What's the matter, Veronica? <laughs> I don't know. I just welled up all of a sudden. I'm just glad to be here with all of you, I suppose. <laughs> but where else would you be, you silly thing? You, you're right. I'm being stupid. Sorry. Thank you. For everything. And she doesn't even know. Now what? I sense something awful, something truly, truly evil. But where is it coming from? What was it Mordigan said just before he died? Something about not being the only one who defied the flow of time, right? But what did he mean? <laughs> Your Highness, please, you must come quickly. It's Erdwin's lantern. What? Uh, what? The balcony. Wait a minute. Quickly. That's right. We're in the past. The lantern's back. He's raced off upstairs. That's interesting. I had forgotten that the, uh, yeah, that taco was trying to bring down the lantern before. And now that it's back in time, it can do it again. But what does that mean? What's this? Sicilian sovereign. <laughs> the 
this sky. I have never seen its like. Look! Over there! Erdman's lantern! It's falling! Right. Mordigan destroyed the lantern. In another place and time, Mordigan destroyed me. But Mordigan is no more. Now, none stand in my way. Now is my time. Now I am whole again. this Edwin's lantern has fallen. I fear this bodes ill for us all. I dare make this request of no other luminary. I must ask that you investigate. The great star fell to earth in the celestial sands. They can be seen from the emerald coast. That must be your first port of call. Sire, I would ask your leave to join this expedition. There we go. Yeah. I cannot atone for all that I have done. But perhaps in joining you, I might repay my debt at least in part. Luminary, I will be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. Okay. Joins us for the first time all over again. Let's go see if we can figure out who this monster is. It looks like Mordigan in a in a way. What? What did that say? We can't teleport. We're going to have to go on foot. <laughs> I mean, this is interesting because... This is reminding me of Dragon Quest 8 a little bit in that we've been fighting Mordigan this whole time, but then 
there's a chance there's an even more evil being out there. Just the standard Dragon Quest theme. They played this in uh, the trailer for the the heroes for uh, joining Smash Brothers. Supposed to go this way. This Emerald Coast. Is this not the right way? Say that again. What the heck is it? It's giving off waves of. Oh, I don't know what, but whatever it is, it's certainly not pleasant. Well, then it can't be Erdwin's lantern, can it? We need to do something about it, whatever it is. But how do we even get up there? Well, well, dear Luminary. It seems you were in quite the pickle. Wait a minute. Huh? 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 How? That sounds like... Mordigan, you're alive. You're seeing me as Mordigan now, you say? How very intriguing. Hmm. Well, no need to panic. I'm not Mordigan. It's me, the one you people call the Seer. What? Wait, how can you be the Seer? Oh, anyone can be the Seer, my young friend. Or should I say, Seer can be anyone. Depends on how you look at things, really. Anyway, we can't have you all on edge like this now, can we? One moment. What is... <gasps> why? There. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. I was having a lovely vision of you all, riding Cetacea to see the Watchers. Um, what the heck are you talking about? Let's just say that the hallowed tones of the Flute of Legend will carry you to every corner of the land, and leave it at that, shall we? The what of the what will what? <laughs> Honey, you're not making any sense. You don't have much time, you know. I wouldn't stand there gawping like that if I were you. I mean, I figured the flute was what it was going to be, but I guess somebody had to be there to tell us. I don't know how legendary it is, but we do have a flute. Do you think this could be the one? Well, it's the only one we've got. 
can't hurt to give it a go. I can't believe it! We've never seen the giant flying whale before! Uh, is anybody else seeing kind of a huge, enormous whale um, flying through the air? <laughs> Didn't the seer mention us riding something called Cetacea? Oh my! She couldn't have meant that, could she? What's that gormless grin for? <laughs> Anyone would think you went flying around on whales for fun. Well, I'm game if you are. Can he not All tell aboard. them what happened? We've got a whale to catch. Ah. Oops. I don't understand the rules. It seems like... It seems like flashbacks from the previous timeline kick in at just the right moment. Alright, so here we go. What is this evil orb? Wait, the black star is surrounded by an impenetrable aura of evil. You can't get any closer right now. Okay. I need to come over here. Okay, it won't let me... It won't let me stop. It's weird. Wait a minute. It's not safe to land here. To dismount Cetacea, look for floating islands or pillars of sparkling light. I guess we'll land here. I guess this was like a secret fast travel sort of way to get here. Never mind. There's no way out. There's the toggle. <laughs> Floating Island. Floating Island. Hold on.
Let's see what this is. 